Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Monday, April the 9th. It's year two in Easter week and the scripture for this service, Psalms 93 and 98 and Mark chapter 16 verses 1 through 8. And the antiphon is from the hymn, hymn number 208, The Strife is Over. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The strife is o'er, the battle done, the victory of life is won. The song of triumph has begun. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Psalms 93 and 98. You reign in majesty and girded with strength. And you also establish the world so that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are everlasting and evermore. The floods have lifted up. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods have lifted up their waves. You are on high and you are mightier than the noise of any waters. Yes, than the mighty waves of the sea. Your testimonies are true. Holiness becomes your house forever. O oh, sing to God the Most High a new song, for God has done marvelous things. God's right hand and God's holy arm have gained the victory. God the Most High has given salvation, and God's righteousness has been openly shown in the sight of the heathen. God has shown mercy and truth toward the family of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to God the Most High, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing to God with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm, with trumpets and sound of cornet. Make a joyful song before God the Most High, the ruler. And let the sea and all that is in it roar, the world and all that live there. Let the floods clap their hands and let the hills be joyful before God the Most High, for our God comes to judge the earth. With righteousness God shall judge the world and the people with equity. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The strife is o'er, the battle done. The victory of life is won. The song of triumph has begun. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 16, beginning at verse 1. Now, when the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, brought spices so that they might go and anoint Jesus. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone from us from the entrance to the tomb? And when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. And as they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side. And they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. 
but go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world. For the mercy of God community, for Joe and Tom and Alan, Ronald Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, William John, Don Columba, Max Bartholomew, Todd Dunstan, Brian Daniel, Raymond Patrick, Richard Robert, William Irwin, and all the Mercy of God Associates. For our clergy, and for all of our church leaders, especially Tom and Alan, Ray and Richard and Don, for this gathering and for all people, for peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, for goodwill among nations and for justice and peace, for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, for those in prison, especially Christian, and for those in any need or trouble. For the unemployed, especially Robert and Carrie, and Bill and Brian and Carol. For a cure for cancer. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Ronald Francis. For those who grieve, especially Chris. For all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of God, that they may find and be found. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, you have united diverse peoples in the confession of your name. Grant that all who have been born again in the font of baptism may be also united in faith and love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.